Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rent at a time, back with his entrepreneur friend, Mr. Stratton Brown. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on. You did something the other day that I have never done. Never, ever done. I want to talk about it. I want to see what your takeaways were, how the setup was, was it all you thought it would be. Just there's so much there. And that is you took a ride on a private jet. I have never done that. It was fun. I had it. it was fun, he says with a smile. <laughs> it was fun. I mean, it was more, you know, I want to buy a jet, right? So mm -hmm. it's actually getting the environment, feeling the environment. What's it like? Mm -hmm. What will, like for visualization for me, like what it will look like in my head as I picture that every day until I get one. Yeah. All that good stuff. Um, but I mean, the time aspect of it, right? And I, I try not to get political, but like, I hate wearing masks. Yep. And whenever I go to the airport, I have to put a mask on me, my wife, and my son. Right. I go to the fucking jet. I pull up. I don't have to go through security. I have to take off my goddamn shoes. I don't have to take my laptop out of my backpack. And I just walk onto the plane. Sure. And then they bring me drinks. Yeah. Right. And it's the drinks I ordered. I yeah. said, I want these drinks on the plane. Yeah. Like these are the drinks I want. And then they gave me the food that I wanted. Like it's it's a different type when I talk about like money, like, yes, this is what. I'm yeah. a control freak and this is what I want my life to look like. So I'm going to make it that way. So I think that was something that was very, very interesting. And then buying time. Yeah. Because I think that's the one thing I won't ever get back to where if I do get busier and busier and busier and I am flying as much as I still do. It was a two hour flight from Columbus to Orlando. Mm. And I got out of the plane and got on a party bus to Disney World. There you go. Right? But like it, it, there's no... You cut out a lot of time. You don't have to deal with any of the bullshit. Mm -hmm. That was, for me, the biggest thing. And then yeah. seeing I did it so I could see that it's possible and then brand as well. Yeah. Because, I mean, as much as I'm not a guru, yeah, I have to make some guru content of yeah. me on a private jet. Yeah. Right. And people see it and they like it and they love it. And then I tell everybody, yes, I'm officially a guru. Here's my guru pictures. Yeah, I, I got the guru snapshots. But again, you actually did it. You just you didn't jump a fence and take a picture. You got on the planes. You Again, you spent the money. Uh, yeah. to get on and the other thing that i saw and i think i saw this on your page is uh, and again if the numbers are wrong they're just meant to be for scale right you spent 10 grand but you think it'll help you make 100 million or something like that yeah it'll and so i i spent like eight grand to get on it okay right? just fly down nothing serious and then it'll make me 100 million because and i take it as this i hop on a jet i talk to 10 other people who can afford that type of money it's that's not true money. it's money right. To be on that jet with me and fly down. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let's stop there, right? Because again, one of the things, um, it just is what it is. Sometimes price is a great uh, separator. It's an amazing separator. Yeah. Like we do the, we do the free stuff, sure. but I still need to grow. I can't, generally, if I'm hosting the free things, I'm giving to everyone else. Yep. I didn't go to someone else who can give to me. Yeah, no, yeah. I can, so I can push forward so I can bring more value to the rest of the group. Yeah. Okay. I like, and again, you are around 10 other people that could stroke an 8K check and not feel it. Right. And like, it's not that big of a deal. Right. That's so I, I can do that. And then it helps me build my brand. Cause again, like guru pictures as awful as that sounds. And I tell everybody I'm going to post guru pictures, right. But that's my brand, mm -hmm. but it builds my brand because, oh, wow, he's on a private jet. Now they automatically associate with me with a private jet. One of the most engaged stories of the year was me posting on the private jet. Like, oh, wow, dude, this is so cool. Man, it's so cool to see how far you've come. Like all this other stuff. Right. But again, more brand equity. Okay. Then I fly in to Tim Brott's mastermind. I'm flying in with Mark Evans. Everybody now associates me with Mark. I've already bought into Mark's brand. Like I can borrow from Mark's brand because now I'm associated with him. Nice. Oh, hey, what are you here for? I came here with Mark. I'm automatically associated with the speaker on the stage who's yeah. talking about how you can make more money. I'm in his sphere. The halo effect or whatever. Okay. And then they announced at the event, like, hey, um, like only 20 people here flew in on a private jet. I was wrong. Nice. Right. And so that all goes into it. So now I'm talking to multi, multi millionaires who all own hundreds of millions to millions of dollars in real estate. Yeah. And they'll automatically think of me in a higher respect because of how I came in. And then on top of my other companies and what else I do, it's more respect and more brand equity. So now when I am networking, I can pull more, pull more value from them. And I'm still learning and learning and learning from them. So I, I know I'll eventually buy $100 million worth of real estate. 
Like and that. I'll raise whatever I want to in there. So that's why I think it'll make me 10 million, 100 million. Yeah. But no, I, staying I, I, into that, right? Just like your YouTube channel, your YouTube channel is going to make you more money than I think anything else you could do. Hmm. We'll see. I'd love to see that. It's got a long way to go. <laughs> but it's not direct correlation, right? I don't oh, think course. anything's direct correlation, but I oh, think yeah, yeah, yeah. Kylie Jenner's a billionaire because she has a big brand. She did swipe up to look like me. Swipe up by my makeup and you can look like me. So she does a swipe up. Yeah. She sells $100 million worth of makeup in a day. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So the other thing I'll talk about here is you really do invest in masterminds in getting in the right circles, right? You want to be quote unquote, the dumbest person in the room. You don't want to be the smartest person in the room. Is that, yeah. that that's a conscious decision to spend, you know, 10 or what is it? Seven, eight figures uh, to get in these rooms. Yeah. Um, for me, like I need to grow and I really care about. So I went on the jet primarily just to talk to Mark. Okay. Mark is worth multiple eight figures at this point, maybe even nine. I'm not sure. But I'm in that room and I want to see how he thinks. Hmm. How does he think? How does he process problems? Like I, I care about that. And I care, I pay to get close to specific people who I know, like, and trust. I know they're legit. And I know that their business and their life looks like I'd want my life and business to look like. So I got Mark and I got a dude named Josh Snow. Josh makes over $100 million a year with teeth whitening. And he's 28 years old. Hmm. I paid to get into his mastermind to talk to him just to talk to him, ask him questions that I want and see like his actual thought processes, see how he actually scaled things. All of that is why I pay to get into those. Mm -hmm. oh, I have to switch the camera real quick. Okay, sorry, I can still hear you, you keep talking. But that's why we did it. That's why I do it so I can know I can grow mm -hmm. because there's not a lot of things now that are going to make me smarter. Got it. I can only read so many books. Yep, got it. This has been a lot of fun. One more time, Stratton, where can people follow you? At Strat Daddy. Very cool. Thanks, bud.